You guys, it is Saturday, and I don't know about you, but I am losing track of what day it is. I'm gonna be honest, everybody being stuck inside, the weather's being crummy, like I don't even know what today is. I had to really think about it for a minute. I was like, I think today's Saturday, uh, I think. <laughs> hey, Angela. Um, so I just washed my face. Hey, Brenda. So I'm gonna pop on a sub eye cream. I love applying eye cream, ice cream, eye cream before I apply my makeup because I feel like, and this is the eye cream, I feel like it goes on really, really smooth um, and allows hydration to kind of go back under the eyes because we all know that that is a very like thin skin. Um, and so when you're applying your makeup, it just kind of number one goes on a little bit smoother um, and helps with that creasing and creping you might get. Um, hey, Caitlin, what up, girlfriend? I'm also gonna go with the moisturizer because my skin be dry, because this weather be crazy. Um, literally going from like, what, 80 the other day? I was in shorts. And now we're at like 45. My skin doesn't know what to do. We had to turn on the heater. I did not want to because we had been living on the AC for a while. And then uh, I was like, <sighs> Yesterday, I was freezing all day, and uh, Justin walked in, and he had, I mean, he left the house at 5 yesterday, and then didn't get home till 7, and he's like, it's kind of chilly, and I'm like, I know, I wasn't going to turn on the heater, and he's like, I think, I think you deserve a little heat, and I'm like, thank you, <laughs> and so it's been amazing today, but it's, now Riley wants to go outside, and I'm like, eh, no, too cold, I think it's supposed to warm up soon, but I don't really know, um, <laughs> hey, girlfriend, Hey, hey, Victoria. So I am gonna pop on the primer. Now I use the strobe primer just because I like that glow underneath my makeup, but there is a more silicone based matte primer, um, which I do wanna pick up just so I can have both. You know, I'm a girl who's very indecisive. Anybody else? Some days you want something, some days you don't. Or you get something and you're like, I don't know, maybe I want the other thing. Anyway, listen, I'm going a little cray cray, um, staying inside. And now that I'm considered high risk, I don't like it. I don't like it. Like, help me get an out. <laughs> At least make the weather warm, okay? Can you guys do that for me? Can you just make the weather warm so we can go outside and enjoy time outdoors? Like. I don't want to be bundled up in the wind blowing 90 miles an hour and I'm getting wind chapped and I'm like, <laughs> it's so cold. Um, anyway, okay, before we get started while my primer sets for just a sec, I want you to vote. I did a little poll on Facebook, but I didn't, it was like only 30 minutes ago, <laughs> so not many people voted. Um, you did w vote for a natural look, so we are going to do that. Hey, Shaylee. Um, however, I need help deciding on what foundation you want me to use today. So. I can go in with a CC cream, which is very pigmented and moisturizing, and it's not a foundation, but it's basically a foundation because it covers really, really well. So type CC cream or just CC in the comments if you want me to do that one. Um, the VFX Pro, you can type uh, VFX, VFX in the comments, or, hey Marissa, or you can type, this is a sample, um, this is, a foundation I want to try. This is the Stay Matte. So you can just type matte. Okay. So here are our options. And I need you guys to vote because I'm not going to start until you vote. Okay. So you're going to be sitting here a minute if you don't vote. <laughs> CC VFX Matte. Okay. I do want to try all of these. So, well, I've tried these all the time. Um, but I do want to try this one. I don't know if you want me to use it today or another day. For this is our natural look. Okay, I got one stay matte. So, so far, stay matte. I'm going to give it just a few more seconds because the comments take a minute to come through. I got one CC. I need tiebreakers, you guys. Matte. Okay. Hey, Emily. So, I've got two tiebreakers. Oh, okay, matte. Matte it is, you guys. Okay, here's the other thing. Um, It's a sample. <laughs> so, I'm kind of limited on my shades. I pulled a sample yesterday to send to somebody and it's probably the shade I needed. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'll give it to them instead. Um, so I don't know that this is gonna be my color, but will you promise not to judge? 
<laughs> Will you promise not to judge? Um, please. Okay, real quick, just so people are aware. This is, I will put the CC cream on my arm so you can see. And I normally have a little bit of a spray tan that is fading. Um, so, anywho. But that's the that's the CC cream, okay? it Look how much coverage that is. That's CC cream. Um, yeah, it's that good. This is the VFX. I'll put it right underneath. Oh, my skin is so dry right now, you guys. Ooh. That is the VFX. And you're probably like, Lindsay, that is yellow. Well, my skin is actually kind of yellow. Um, I'm on the under, underside of my skin, but it's pretty close. Um, and then we have the Stay Matte. Hey, Lauren! Judgment-free zone. Got it. Good. Okay. Then here we go. Let's see if we can open this. Let me run and get the scissors. They're like right here, three feet away. One, two, three. Coming back at you. Check out our pillow. <laughs> it's the only thing that's like cushioned enough for me to like have support while I'm teaching during the day. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to put a little bit on to see. I want to keep as much as I can for my face. Oh, yeah. I think this shade will be perfect. Okay, so this is the stay matte. It might be a little bit dark, but let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. So we've got CC cream, VFX foundation, um, and the stay matte. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, you guys. You ready? We've got a primer on. Everything should be fine and dandy. We're just going to squeeze it out. So what have you guys been doing today on this fine Saturday where you are staying home? There's a lot in here. I like it. You could probably get away with two days worth of this. I'm just going to pop it on. I don't know. I may save the rest. may wear it tomorrow. Give it a full day effect. Okay. I'm going to end up getting that on me, but it's fine. Just, you know what? It's fine. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to blend just like I would with a normal kabuki brush. Hey, Jessica. Just finished online family ballet class. Oh, okay. How did it go? Was it better than the last time? I saw the other day you said her attention span was like, meh. I mean, do you blame her? <laughs> um, yeah, man. Tonight, Justin is getting us um, Sicily's. Talked about that yesterday on my live. That is the local small business in McKinney. Um, it's like it's Sicilian Italian food. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, and they are doing curbside pickup. And so trying to support people that we really love. They are so nice to police and firemen um, and first responders. And so we want to support them in any way we can. I thought it was funny because um, we've been trying to eat pretty carb free for a while. Or low, low, low carb. Um, and I was like, Justin, can we just sacrifice and have pizza tonight? <laughs> and he was like, okay. I was like, well, that was easy. <laughs> hey, Ashley. Okay, so actually that match is not bad at all. Like, not bad. I like it. So this is the Stay Matte Foundation. So far, so good. I will let you know how it wears on me. I have, in the past, used a L'Oreal foundation uh, that is Stay Matte. Um, but I usually mix the two. I usually mix their Luminous, I think it is, and then their Stay Matte because my skin is just so dang dry um, that... I just like the way some luminous is. Luminous? I don't know. Moisture? Um, but we'll see. I will let you know. But this stuff, it is like, I think it's like eight bucks. I think. So you can like get the whole tube for eight bucks and you're going to be happy. All right. About the same. Phil loved it though. Why? <laughs> like like watching her? Hey Candace. Alright, so this is the concealer. I chose I wear the lightest shade. Um, but there are options, especially 
Um, there are different concealers to help cancel out like purples and blacks um, and things like that. So if you are, you know, if you struggle with really, really dark circles under your eye, then I probably wouldn't suggest a really light concealer because it's not going to do much. You want one that's going to cancel out the dark. If you just apply a light concealer over dark circles, they're still going to show up. So you would want to like color correct and then conceal um, or just forego that. Okay, pretty simple, right? So we are going a simple look. I need to remind myself that. <laughs> We're going simple. Um, ish. We're going simple ish, I will say. Oh, no, it was family ballet. Oh my gosh, that sounds really fun actually. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Samantha. Thanks for popping on, you guys. Um, I am going to set under my eyes with the translucent powder um, just to help with staying powder. Stay, yeah, stay power <laughs> and minimal creasing. Do you wet your sponge or use it dry? I've never used it wet. Oh my gosh. Yes, wet your sponge. Yes, yes, yes. Dampen your sponge. You will see a huge difference in makeup application. You can dampen your sponge. Oh, dang. I left my setting spray. Or you can set um, use setting spray. But I usually go under the water and I do this. And then I wrap it in a towel and I like squeeze it a couple times. Because you don't want it sopping wet, obviously. Um, but a damp beauty blender is life-changing. Try it, let me know. Hey, Jenna. All right, so this is just a regular powder. You can skip this step. Sorry, I'm looking over the comments. <laughs> um, but I like the way it looks, so we are gonna do it. All right, I need your vote again, okay? I've been using it for the past few days, but I want you to vote. I want you to tell me what you think I should do. Should I go in with the cream uh, contour stick or the contour palette. Stick, palette. Stick, palette. Take a vote. Go. While you do that, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna go with a brow pencil today because we're keeping it pretty simple. So stick or palette. What would you prefer if you were using a product? Would you rather apply a cream contour stick or a powder? The pencil is like kind of a waxy pencil. So once it sets though, it, it stays. So you don't have to worry about your brows falling off your face or anything like that. It goes on really smooth. Um, I always though take so that's the pencil. And then I go in with a spoolie and just soften up and make it kind of look more like hair. But that's, I don't do anything crazy with my brows, especially on days that I'm not doing a ton to my face. Um, that's it, right? Super simple. Okay, I've got stick, stick, stick. Perfect. So we're gonna go in with a stick. You got it. All right. So, there's hair, hair on my face. All right, let's see. Whoop. Oh, there it is, you see that hair? There, get out of there, get out of there. Ain't nobody got time for that. Literally, like, don't push hard, <laughs> don't push hard. It goes on really smooth and pigmented. So, the less you press, the less, uh, I guess, pigment it will, Put on your face and uh, you don't have to worry about it being like way too much, you know? Hey, Brittany. Okay, so we're just gonna blend this out. It blends really, really well. Hey, Kristen. I just take whatever's left over and kind of hit the edge of my nose, especially on days that I'm not trying too hard. Nobody has time for precise lines. <laughs> I don't. I always feel like if I try too hard, it looks like I try too hard, you know? Meh. Meh. 
All right, I do like bronzer, you guys know. That's the wrong brush. Okay. Um, speaking of weather, Kristen, my cousin, living in Colorado, had like a blizzard the other day. So much snow. Listen, I am not here for the snow. Riley wants to build snowman because frozen too. And I'm like, listen, you're going to have to wait till next year because I don't want the snow anymore. We missed the snow day we had. Sorry, snooze you lose. I don't want any more snow. No more snow. All right, going in with blush. I love this blush color. Pigmented, but yet simple. I feel like it goes well on a ton of skin tones. Boop, done. Okay, now a little bit of highlight and then we're gonna move on to a very simple eye look which is what you requested, nothing too glammy glam. I was gonna come in at you with full lashes and all the things um, if you voted for the glam look, which like one person did. So maybe later, maybe, maybe tomorrow. I don't really know, I don't know what tomorrow brings. I will say when I'm going for a pretty natural look and even if I did less makeup, right? I could obviously just do like a CC cream and then um, blush or, or bronzer or whatever, I still like to highlight. I just think it makes your face come alive. Um, so I live for highlighter. Live for highlighter. And I think when you're doing such a natural look, the more, the better. <laughs> My opinion, it just helps you stay like fresh looking, you know? And I'm just using, um, we actually have highlighting shades. I just don't have them yet. Um, but I'm using a Trio palette eyeshadow in this shade right here as a highlighter. So very versatile, very versatile. Hi, girlfriend. And just send her up. I should, I should just send her on the plane and be like, look, go have fun, build snowman, come on back. No. Um, aren't you having to be quarantined if you went to Colorado or something like that? Are y'all having to witness that situation? I don't know. I don't really know what's happening in life these days. I'm just like, whatever, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go natural-ish. I'm not gonna be super crazy, okay? I'm not gonna go super crazy. Um, but I am gonna go in with just a teeny bit of bronzer, okay? Warm up the eye, warm it up. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun, I said, it's all right now. Hey, Cindy, you need to get our three in one. I know, I know, I know, I know. Actually though, see, here's my issue, Katie, with that, because I'm already making my list for like my next order. And I started looking at the three in one because everybody and their mom raves about it. And I'm like, dang it. Well, okay, here's the thing. Here's my issue. I already have the contour palette. And if I get the three in one, it's gonna have another contour shade. It's gonna have a blush shade, which is really pretty. And then it has a beautiful highlight. So I was like, or, or I buy the three highlighting palette and I have three highlighting choices. Cause I love highlighter. So there's like a champagne highlighter, which is what I use. There's a pinkish highlighter. And then there's more of like a, orangey highlighter, but I feel like I will use those on my eyes and on my highlight during summer. So I think I'm gonna do that one. And I'm just so excited. We're supposed to stay home right now for the most part, but pretty sure we have shelter in place, but oh, no way. Oh, shelter in place, that's just scary. Ugh. Ugh. I don't want that to happen here. I mean, it probably will, let's be honest. I don't know. Okay, so this is the cream shadow. Love this color. Also want the more brown shade, but um, this one is pink, the pink glow. It applies super easy. And once it dries to your face, you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. It does not crease. It is amazing. 
just like that. Okay, I feel like there's a shadow or I'm seeing something. That's a shadow. Okay. All right, so then um, I'm going to go back in with that highlighting, highlighting palette. Um, and I'm going to take this brown shade right here. Same brush that I use bronzer. And I'm just going to hit the ends right here just to kind of deepen it up. Just a hint. Just a hair. I like to have, I usually always aim for three shades on my eyes. Don't ask me why. I just like the way it can like, I don't know, it just ties everything together, in my opinion. Um, I have that transition shade, which I use for bronzer, um, but you could use any color. Um, the cream powder, a cream shadow, for kind of a soft, subtle, glowy look. And then um, I always go in with some type of a darker shade, whether it be brown. It usually has a brown tint to it just because I like browns. Um, but this one is like a, a shimmery brown. So it's nothing crazy, nothing dark, nothing like, whoa. Hey, Lori. I want the highlighting palette also. Well, I'm probably going to snag that one. So then you can watch me use that one and then decide if you like it. Um, all right, where's my brush? Where'd it go? Isn't that pretty though? That's like super subtle, nothing crazy. I'm going back in with the highlight shade just under the brow bone. Just a real boop, 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 nothing super crazy. Now, I like to do something under my eye because I just feel like I need to tie it all together. Please hold. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna go back in with the bronzing, bronzer, bron, bronzer. <laughs> and I'm just gonna apply a little bit underneath my eye here. Just like that. I've actually been loving like simple looks. Like to me, this might be like a little overkill for some of you and that's fine. Literally, like the, that one, if you have not seen my video, you need to like go scroll a couple videos down. But I did the four products. I did the CC cream, a blush, a lip gloss, and a mascara. And that was a really pretty combination of just simple, simple products, four products um, for an everyday, like simple look. Obviously you could add to or just to get the bronzer instead of a blush or something like that, but you can totally make these your own you know um so don't be scared just because i do something a little bit different than you might do it's okay just ask yourself okay would i use any of that how can i adjust it here's the thing all of this is super affordable and so you don't have to worry about spending a ton of money literally you don't um speaking of spending a ton of money um stick around because i'm going to show you the samples that came in the starter kit Ooh, Right, I have not I have not swatched these at all, and I just really want to. <laughs> um, but you can get the starter kit for free this month for the end of the month if that is something you're interested in. Um, it waves it basically saves you twenty bucks. So if you're like, um, maybe. Um, but what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you access to half off every single thing forever. So if you're like, oh, I do need to restock my makeup and skincare, and hair care, and whatever else, um, this might be the time to do it. Okay, let's vote. Earlier today, I only did the pencil, black pencil, um, or I can go in with liner. What do you want? Or They're both liner, but I can go in liquid or pencil. Vote away, vote away. Liquid, pencil. Vote away, people, vote away. Liquid pencil, liquid pencil, liquid pencil. I got one liquid, sorry. I feel like my brow needs a little adjusting. Why y'all vote? Liquid pencil, liquid pencil. I do liquid all the time, but I will show you a quick pencil look. Nothing crazy, no wings. I don't do wings with pencils. Mm -mm. Liquid, pencil, liquid. Okay, one more vote. What's it gonna be? Liquid, pencil, liquid, pencil, liquid, pencil. 
Liquid pencil, liquid pencil. One more vote. Somebody vote. Anybody vote? Because I'm learning how to use it. I missed one up by. So if you've not used a liquid liner before, it is definitely tricky. Um, it is a learning experience. I will also tell you in my order, <laughs> my list growing, um, we do offer a felt tip liquid liner pen, which I'm going to grab. So instead of having to dip and draw with like a paintbrush, it's just, it already has like the tip and you just like, boop, done. It's so much easier. So I'm going to snag that for myself. Okay. I'm going to go with liquid because that's what I see. Um, but I will tell you that I sent this out in one of my uh, mystery bags to someone and they're like obsessed. It does not move. It does not move. This is the black. There are those foundation shades from earlier. This is the black. Um, there's a lot of color choices, but this is the extra last. And it's got the little roll up, which I like because you don't sharpen it. Um, but it will stay on. It's good. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I really like the felt pen. I just forgot on my last order. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just order it next time. Okay. Um, so, here we go. And you could totally skip the liner. Like, you don't need liner on a simple look like this at all. I just like it. I choose not to go very far out, especially on a minimalist look, but you can do whatever you want, whatever you want. Okay. Switching hands is the hardest thing. I am left-handed naturally, so this is my right hand. Wish me luck. Can you, excuse me. It's like painting your nails with the opposite hand. It's difficult. It takes practice. Is it possible? Yes. Does it take practice? Yes. If you're a pro at it, good for you. <laughs> I am not. Actually, I think it's easier for me to do liner on people than myself because I can really like, I can use my left hand the whole time. You know? I'm not trying to like reach across my nose and my face. <laughs> Sorry, I just got like confused. This eye always looks the worst, that one. I can never get it just to can never get the point exactly how I like it. Now, um, with the felt, I'm telling you, with the felt pen, you're gonna know, you're gonna like, I'm gonna start using it, and you're gonna be like, oh, that was so fast. Yes, like, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love watching me use it. Okay, let's chat mascara, and then we're pretty much done, okay? Hey, Ashley. All right, so, I've got three choices today. You ready to vote? You guys are voting a lot, I love it. Okay, we have the Zen Mascara. Let me show you the um, the bristle, okay? Zen Mascara, so you can type Zen, Z-E-N, Zen. I wore that this morning. Um, the Extra Curl, or let's see, Extreme Curl, so you can write Curl, okay? I use this one often. It's one of my faves. And then we have 3D, okay? And it looks like... So, I need your vote. Zen, curl, 3D. Zen, curl, 3D. Start voting. Vote now. I feel like it's like some game show. Vote now. Vote now. Which one, which one? Zen, curl, 3D. Zen, curl, 3D. What's it gonna be? Zen, curl, 3D. Come on. Zen, curl, 3D. 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 Zen, cur
Come on, people. Vote. Don't leave me hanging here. Don't leave me hanging here. I got one 3D. Thanks, Ashley. Anybody else? Anybody else want to throw their their uh, option into the hat? Any more? So we've got one 3D. I've got Zen or Curl. All very good lash products. Going once. Going twice. 3D it is. This was actually the first one I had. Purchased this one months ago. Months ago. When I was trying to decide which company to link up with. Um, and used it. Liked it. But was apprehensive. Like this is too good to be true. And shut it all down. Literally. Shut it all down. And then tried another company and then realized I couldn't afford it and neither could anybody else in my life. And I thought, okay, I can't, I gotta find an alternative because I love going live, I love doing makeup looks, but I cannot afford to do it. Um, and neither could anybody, neither, nobody could afford to try the products, you know? They were like, <laughs> too expensive, too risky, right? Um, and so, I, th I told myself, and this is when I like had that big like prayer moment and I was just like, Lauren, you know my heart, you know what I want to do, lead me to the decision you want me to do. Should I stick it out, keep going, or shut it down and try something else? And I shut it down and I felt this huge relief and I actually had been trying the products for about a week before. I didn't tell anybody. And I got so many, like these products. Um, didn't tell anybody. And I would gotten so many compliments. Just random, random compliments about my makeup look, my mascara, my lips, my foundation, everything. And I was like, I'm taking this as a sign. So here we are. I'm telling you, and I'll tell you what I tell other people. What intrigued me the most was... The products are really good quality, okay? Um, really good quality at affordable drugstore prices, okay? And I am a drugstore guru. Like, I will buy all my stuff at the drugstore. I do not care. Um, but the fact that I can get every product for 50% off forever really helps, you know, when it comes to spending, especially in hard times. And you guys know I don't do much. I mean, I do online teaching, but... That doesn't pay a ton. I don't have a lot of leftover. So for me to be able to purchase the things that I want, kind of when I want them, made me feel better about myself, right? Made, made me feel better about my justifying my purchases. I was like, well, I mean, I'm going to spend this at the drugstore. I might as well sp spend it here and, you know, support someone or help support myself, help support my family. Plus, I just love being able to share things that others can afford and purchase. And I will tell you, I sent out my, my mystery bags. They all got in this week, um, and every single person has tried them, and they all responded with positive things. Um, I love that. Like, it, oh, it just made me so happy because that's what I'm trying to, like, tell you. Like, and I don't care if you purchase or not. Yeah, I just love your support, period. But... Just trust the process, you know? It, I'm not gonna get on here and share something that I don't like. And if you don't know that by now, now you do. I will not share something I don't like. Over and over and over. Mm -mm. I won't do it. I will tell you my fave versus like what I recommend, but I will always share stuff I like. Hey Austin, hey Ash, hey Ruthie. So this is a simpler look. Um, now I did while we were voting at some point, I applied the lip conditioner. Um, and that's all this is. It's like kind of like a chapstick is what it would be referred to as. I want you to vote one more time. <laughs> and I know you're like tired of voting. Um, I can go in with the shade brave, um, which is a matte liquid lipstick, or I can just top with a gloss. What would you like to see? What would you like to see? Lipstick or gloss? Okay. I'm going to put it here. Can you see? No, you can't see what I'm doing. This is Brave. Okay. 
and this is the gloss that I currently have. It's more of a peach color. Okay, so what do you want to see? The matte liquid lipstick, lipstick, or gloss for this look? Lipstick, lipstick, brave, lipstick, gloss. Lipstick, all right, lipstick it is. Um, so, one of my tips that I've been finding is if you like liquid lipsticks, especially like matte, imagine like Kylie Jenner, right? Like liquid lipstick, okay? Um, I, I have dry skin. I told you that when I got on here. That's why I prepped my skin with all the things before we started. Um, I find, personally, especially during this like dry season of crazy weather, um, the lip conditioner helps hydrate my lips and then I can put on the liquid lipstick and it's gonna mattify or whatever and I don't have to apply a gloss, my lips don't feel dry. But regardless, I've used it without the lip conditioner and my lips still don't feel dry, but I sometimes get that like creasing. Um, but not always, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, does that make sense? This is just me, me telling you what I recommend if you have dry lips. There we go. And sometimes I line my lips, you guys have seen that, but Today, we won't. This stuff goes on like butter. So smooth, pigmented. Okay, so there we go. So there's Brave. That's it. That is it, my friends. So now we get to swatch the pretty samples that I got. Okay, so just, what do you guys think? Do we like this? Thanks. This is um, Pharmacy. Have you heard of it? This is the name, Pharmacy. Pharmacy. I have a link I can send you, Amy, if you want. Everything is very affordable extremely affordable um and we have a special going on if you want to take hold of 50 percent off but you just let me know okay regardless paying retail price for this stuff is still affordable okay so we are going to pop these out i'm gonna apply them to this arm and let's just see what happens thanks susan look how cute they are <laughs> I have not tried these. So these, there's different lipsticks. So there is the matte liquid lipstick that I'm wearing now. There are lip glosses. There are like, oh gosh, there's like three or four different lipsticks. Um, there's a matte lipstick. There's like a BB lipstick. There's a like intense color lipstick. Um, and I feel like there's one more. So yeah, I'll send it to you, Amy. Okay, so this is Hot Red in the matte liquid lipstick number three. Okay, I don't know how to open these. Twist. Maybe. Calm down, Lindsay, calm down. Look at this pretty color. Oh, that is so fun, oh my gosh. You guys know, so by the way, when I teach, and this is where I teach, um, I wear this color. Okay, this is a matte liquid lipstick in Red Love. So dang pretty. Okay, hello, hello. Um, so let's go ahead and swatch this. So this is, what is it? Hot Red in the matte liquid lipstick. Oh yes, oh my gosh, that is stunning. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't, I cannot even. All right, so basically you can get this for free this month. All these little lipsticks. How fun. Okay, this is the intense color in the, in the shade Lotus. Not as, um, not as bright, but still beautiful. I really like that color. May have to pick that one up from the sale. I'm needing a new like spring color. This is intense color. Instigator. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Pretty, pretty. 
Not quite as red as the first one, but has some red hues. I like that. Kind of a ruby red. I like, I like. So far, so good. We have intense color, dusty rose. Oh, yeah, that one's really pretty. It's kind of a peachy, peachy tint to it. Like that one, dusty rose. Good old dusty. All right. Then we have intense color, denude. D apostrophe, nude, denude. Dude, my spray tan looks sweet right now. <laughs> There's like, you can see all the speckles. I need to exfoliate. All right, so that one is definitely more like corally. Denude. Denude. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. Uh, this is true color lipstick. Warm beige. That's really pretty for spring. Look at that. Summer and spring. Yes. Like that. Like that. You're going to find me wearing these in a few days. I'm for it. True color. Red extreme. Let's go over here. Can you see what I'm doing? Similar to that one, but you can tell that one is more vibrant. Kind of similar to that one down there. Red extreme. And that was true color. True color plum sunrise. These are so little. Oh, that, oh, I love that color. Oh my gosh. That is pretty. I need that color in my life immediately. Okay. Matte lipstick, Posh Plum. Oh, Hante. That is the shade that I would wear every single day. Yes. Gonna need that one in my life. So far, I'm liking all these shades. Matte lipstick, hot toddy. No. <laughs> no. Hot tot to hit. To hit. I like to hotty. Hot toddy. I like that one better. We're calling it hot toddy. <laughs> this is definitely hot toddy, okay? It's not, but it is today. I don't, I don't know what that is. It looks like Tahiti Toddy, but it's not. It's not. It's none of those. All right, matte lipstick. That's caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel? Caramel or caramel? That's pretty. That's a pretty shade. Caramel, mole or caramel, mel. And this is matte lipstick. Hot gossip. We've got three left. That's really pretty. Okay, we have matte lipstick, matte pink. Sounds really pretty. Oh, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yes, yes, not quite like crazy Barbie pink, but very pretty. Oh, yes, oh my gosh. And then... Last one, matte, matte lipstick, matte beige. That's really pretty too, oh my gosh. Okay, I thought I loved this one, but I think I like this one. You guys, these are so pretty. So these are not the, these are not the liquid lipsticks. They are just regular like tube lipsticks, but there's different ones. There's intense color, true color, matte, and other things I can't, I can't remember, but there's a ton. There's a ton. I love this. Oh my gosh. I love color. Like I really do. I don't wear a lot of color, but I love color. Carmel. Carmel. <laughs> uh, the only thing I hate is how they smudge. Which one? These? Do these smudge? The liquid lip is where it's at. I love them. Yeah. So these are normal lipsticks. They're not going to like stay on your lips forever. The liquid lipstick does a really good job. And I will tell you, um, and I'm, this is a disclosure. I want you to know the truth. These stay really well. Okay. When you do not apply any gloss on top. However, if you apply a gloss on top, they will transfer like more. Um, so a lot of times if I, 
I'll show you. I don't know. Okay, look. Not, not like there's barely anything, okay, if that. But if I apply this gloss, which is actually the lip plumper, <laughs> but should I do the lip plumper or a gloss? No, I'll do the lip plumper because then you'll be able to see like it's not the gloss transferring. Okay. Mm, if they're smudging out, Katie, um, your lip liner will help that situation. If they're like bleeding out and coming out and like past your lip, a lip liner will help that. Okay, so this is with a gloss on top, which I like glossy lips, I do. Um, but, see the difference? So, just so you know, if you are wanting a glossy look, you're gonna get some transfer, okay? But if you like the matte look, with the matte liquid lipsticks, and I have, I have lots of shades. These are the shades I own in the matte liquid lipstick and I love them to death. <laughs> um, and so they, when you wear them without a gloss, they do stay on really well, like little to no transfer. So that's good. Um, you know, cause I like when I'm drinking stuff, I don't like my lipstick all over the cup. I think that's kind of gross looking. So, I mean, it, it is what it is, right? Yeah, the bleeding out. So try a lip liner. I wore some of those and they sm their smudging was horrible. And then I will give them a try. Yeah, try it. Hey, Melissa. All right, so guys, that's it. That was my simple look. Um, one of my all-time favorite products for the eyes, I mean, gosh, do I really have to pick? I don't know, but would I recommend try something? Yes, and it would be the Cream Shadows. They're so pretty and they're so easy to use. Um, you can use your finger, you can use a brush, but they're so dang pretty. And when they, when they dry, which doesn't take long, um, they will stay on. You will not have creasing, you will not have smudging, you will not have wear. I mean, they are stunning, stunning. Um, and this is Pink Glow, so that's what I wear all the time, usually as a kind of like a middle highlight shade. Um, but I did a look the other day with um, some other cream shades that I got. This is the, what is this one? Red Glaze, look how, look how pretty that is. Also, wear them, wear them on your lips too. I did that the other day too. I didn't show you that, but I did. All right, so that's red glaze. Isn't that pretty? Pair it with some deep browns. And... Yes. I know I do too. This is the, I'm trying to keep my hands somewhat clean. This is the orange pop shade that you get in your, uh, one of your starter kits. If you wanted. Oh. <laughs> Right there that one's really pretty I like to pair that with like my pineapple pow powder and all and I like to do all the shades um I think that's the only three that I have cream wise yes but they're super pretty look I'm tatted up <laughs> all right guys I'm gonna pop off give you guys the rest of your afternoon um if you have any questions send me a message I would love to chat with you about the products I'm not going to push anything on you. Absolutely not. But will I recommend things? Yes. Um, last but not least, remember that I said you do get a free starter kit this month. If you are interested in getting half off products, you get a free starter kit. What comes in that are these awesome lipstick samples. Um, lots of other samples as well. I have taken out some of them, so hold on. You get the BB cream sample, which I have a CC cream. CC cream is going to be more... Um, pigmented and more coverage than a BB, excuse me, than a BB cream, but you get BB cream samples. You get, um, stay matte foundation, right? You get these samples. Um, then you get the keratin hairline samples, a mask, a shampoo, and a serum. You get the garlic and capixel samples for your hair, helping hair, hair growth and hair renewal. Um, and then you get also like massage uh, lotions. And so you get the relaxing massage gel and then a soothing massage gel sample. Um, so kind of like icy hot kind of. Um, but you know, during this stressful time when we're all quarantined, you might need some. So, <laughs> and then you get some brochures and things like that. Um, all kinds of good stuff. You're gonna get 
all these little catalogs back here that tell you about color matching and skincare and, and just help you kind of figure out like what you need and what you might want. Um, but remember, you're going to get that basically free, 20 bucks free. Um, and then you get 50% off everything. Um, so a lot of these products, like I know the Stay Matte Foundation that I used, it's like $8 or something, right? I just want to verify. I think it's like eight something. <clears throat> Anybody know off the top of their head who's watching? There it is. Yeah, okay, so it's $12.90. $12.90. Um, and then you get it half off. So $12.90 still for a really good foundation. $12.90 is not a bad price at all. $12. Um, but you can get it half off right? Everything I have here, I got half off. So I felt like I could just load up <laughs> and get it all because I love it so much. Um, anyway, yeah. So if you have any questions, let me know. You can also, I can send you the link and you can browse this online. It has all the products from skincare, hair care, makeup, whatever. Um, that way you can just kind of look and see. Because I know like me personally, when I'm thinking about buying something, I'm like, I do a lot of research before I just buy it. Um, and I'll like check Pinterest and I'll check the fate. I'll check people's Facebooks to be like, well, is that the one I want? <laughs> Cause I, I'm very indecisive. Um, but anyway, Hey Andrea. Hey mom. I will watch you play. Yes, girl. All beautiful colors. Thanks for sharing. Absolutely. Amy, I'll message you right after this. Have a great day. All right, guys, I am going to pop off. So I will see you later and thanks for watching. Bye.